waiting we're going to get started um and i'm assuming we'll get notifications if other people join with me okay um thank you for joining us today everyone um this is just a meeting about some of the learning that we're going to do um over the next i think about 12 weeks i think yeah um so yeah we're going to give you a bit of information about what we've done already what we're hoping to do this term and just keeping you in the loop so you can support your children as much as you can um when they are at home with you um and we'll take questions at the end if that's okay so if you do have any questions just note them down or if you think you're going to forget them just put them through in the chat and then we will um have a look at them at the end of the meeting if that's all right but yeah yeah um i'll say i've got nothing else ready to add on top of that um yeah, so uh, save any questions and we'll, we'll, we'll go through them all in one go at, uh, in the end. So, oh, there we go. So, we, we, was, we wanted to start off with a little bit of a, rev a review yeah. of um, the autumn term. There was um, quite a lot going on. Yeah, um, it was a good term. Yeah, the um, obviously the trip to Alton Towers being the kind of culmination almost of everything, even though it wasn't necessarily the end. Mm. Um, and it was, yeah, it was very, very um, nice. It was a really, really nice term. Um, you know, we felt like the children had a great time, learned a lot, mm. which is obviously the most important thing when you're when you're a teacher. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll say it, we just wanted to share a few photos of just some mm. of the things that we did, um, just so you can kind of kind of see what's what's been go or a little window into what's been going on in school. Yeah, um, I know that it's different before covid you'd probably come in for the mission impossible and things like mm. that but now we've done debates we've done you know lots of research we've done different workshops we've done um amazon workshops we've done uh, north pole workshops we've done a bit of cooking we've had obviously the black country museum come in we've been to alton towers for a residential trip 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 through covid which has been amazing um mm. So yeah, we just wanted to say that we are really proud of your, our children, I'm going to say, um, because they've done amazing last term and they do amazing every day. So we just want to say that, you know, last term was, we had lots of fantastic learning opportunities and we're looking forward to this term's learning opportunities as well. Um, but yeah, that's just a quick snapshot of autumn. So in, um, <laughs> the, well, last term we covered place value and addition and subtraction, which it, I know it doesn't might not seem like much, but they're so broad, mm. um, particularly in year six, there's so much to cover um, that, you know, that's kind of all really that we had time for. Um, in spring one, we all, I mean, we started multiplication just before Christmas, but um, we're looking at, we've just finished multiplication, we've, we're, we're working on division now. Um, and then we're going to look at fractions and measurements as well towards the end of the term. Um, which are slightly quicker and easier wins to sort of mm. to sort of get. Um, so you might see spring one and spring two. That's just before half term. That's after what half we're term. aiming for. So yeah. yeah. Um, so after half term, we aim to finish um, the measurement work and move on to things like ratio and proportion. Um, but we're going to keep you know working on revisiting previous tasks, mm. previous learning in um, things like homework and morning tasks and before. Uh, math lessons in our can you still activities um <clears throat> and as it says you know it's essential these children complete all the homework tasks just just because it gives them a chance to um actually see you know actually try out the maths that they've learned in class usually it's a reasoning problem usually it's um a puzzle or something to problem solve so it gives them a chance to actually you know, use the maths that we've we've used so far in lesson or learned so far in lesson. Um, we're really pushing this term to make them good mathematicians, and that's why we spent time doing place value, addition, and subtraction with lots of word problems and lots of reasoning sessions. Um, with multiplication, we're finding that a lot of children are on different phases, so we've split the children into different groups, and we're working like that. We're we're working from there. 
Um, division, for example, today's lesson was a recap of short division and some children had gaps, some children didn't. Mm -hmm. It just meant that we reinforce that specific area and we move on to long division next week. After long division, we do prime numbers, square numbers, and I've put a link on the screen there. Um, that is the maths curriculum. If you go onto Google and you type in year six maths curriculum, that national curriculum, that's where you will find all the areas that we are we are covering in maths. That's a document we use to plan and to make sure that they have some understanding of those areas listed in the maths national curriculum. We, we spend a lot of time on place value and the four operations because multiplication, division, addition and subtraction comes up in fractions, it comes up in measurement, mm -hmm. it comes up in ratio and proportion and it comes up in algebra. So without that basis we wouldn't be able to do much um that's what we're aiming to get covered before um you know before the before the end of the year for example the only thing that we ask you to do parents is just please make sure that this is a small ask um please make sure that you are practicing your times tables with your children and i know that it's very easy to say that i'm sure that child x knows them but they should be able they, they should know them off the top of their head as quick as they can mm. Um, I know that it's our oh, year six times tables. Yeah, it's really important. Um, I know that you, most of you that have joined this meeting do always complete your homework. If you're watching this over YouTube, a lot of you do complete your homework. Um, we try and get as much learning as we can done in class, but the homework is just a way of, of you seeing what we do in school because we try to plan the homework, um, for it to be a snapshot of class learning. Um, but yeah, basically we've, th that's what we're doing in class please carry on practicing times tables at home because they're really important. Um, and if you are doing any additional learning to do with maths at home, that's fantastic. I have so many children coming to speak to myself and Mr. Hallam about the learning that you've been doing in CGP books or any other types of exercise mm. books that you have at home. That is absolutely brilliant. And um, whatever you are doing at home is brilliant. Carry on doing it. It's great. <laughs> Um, what we, one of the things we'll do there as well is we'll make sure that this is put um, or the link down at the bottom is put into um, the description on the YouTube video so um, yeah <clears throat> if you if you want to go if you want to find it and you know you don't want to type out that entire link because it is it's, yeah. incredibly long Sorry. Um, <clears throat> we will put it into the um, we'll put it into the YouTube description so it's there and you've got a, <clears throat> a chance to see it um, for yourself and, and just click on it and then it will take you straight to the mm -hmm. uh straight to the website um if we move on to english sorry Mr. that's okay Emily, don't worry um english is exciting um english we are doing books without words so these are story books that have no words in them which might seem a little bit um almost counterintuitive yes. year six class learning about um picture books basically um but these aren't just your average, um, you know, pitch books. These are um, these are books that have so much language and so much description and tell such a deep story that sometimes words wouldn't necessarily do them justice. Mm. You know, you, the emotions shown on the you know, in the books isn't just from um, can't just be shown by words. You know, it, this is something that you can't quite describe, and they are absolutely beautiful books. Beautiful books. Now, obviously, we know we're not saying we're not going to be reading, um, you know, actual words in this term. But um, you know, this is the kind of thing that that we're aiming for um, on this in this term for literacy. And I'll take us. I'll just point out as well. These are a couple of the books that we're, we're looking at this term. Uh, small things and a stone for Sasha. So we've already started to look at small mm. things. Anybody who's um, been in the class said it's, it's brilliant. You know, there's, there's so much going on and it's so interesting. And uh, stone for Sasha will be the same as well when we do that later on. This no term. sneak peeks, guys, at home. Yes, don't don't go and buy yourself a copy of Amazon, please. Um, <laughs> but yeah, these they're amazing books. Um, we sort of not trialed, but we did this topic last year with service class, and we got lots of amazing pieces of writing out of it. Um, so yeah, we've got we've invested more in lots of new books, so books without words. We've got about fifteen, almost twenty books without words, and it's a great opportunity to hit things 
the devices that they need to use. For example, brackets, dashes, parentheses, commas. We're learning about hyphens in word study today. Mm. Um, so we were planning and we said the story is there for the children to use. And the children know this because we drummed it into them last week. The story is there. All you have to do is give the characters a voice. And that's your job. Um, and that really sort of hit them in a good way where they realized that right the hard job is already been done for me i just have to give the characters a voice and that's where the description the writing the cohesiveness comes out in their in their work basically and we're, we're really we're really looking forward to just enjoying writing and learning about all of these different stories and um, that's english well to add on to that as well one of the things we like about this is that if they if the children aren't as confident with reading or you know perhaps don't enjoy reading as much it gives them a little bit more of a level playing field mm -hmm. because you know all of the children can talk about the emotions and feelings they can talk about um <clears throat> or they can empathize with what this character is going through so it's all there and it's <clears throat> it's something that can you know, your more able readers might be able to read a little bit more into what this character is feeling. They might base, they might, you know, relate it to another character or to their own experiences a little bit better. But it gives <clears throat> all the children a chance um, to really sort of get involved with the books and get involved with, with I was about to say the text, but with, mm. with what's on the screen, mm -hmm. what's on the screen, what's in the, uh, on the pages in front of them. Mm um another thing we've spoken about reading well, we've spoken about writing um we tell the children every day please come to school and nag mr hallam to get your book changed and i literally mean nag mr hallam so please can mm. you encourage your children to read the books that we're sending home and then nag mr hallam <laughs> yes um and i've also mentioned to a couple of parents that yes they've got books coming home from school but please encourage your children to go to the library and just try and encourage a love of reading i know it's tricky when they're at this age mm. i know that they can sometimes refuse to read if they do send them to us um but no just yeah try and encourage them to read a book that they enjoy a genre of books that they enjoy mm. um take them to the library and just tell them to pick and it'll be interesting it'll be, i love to know i love to know what they pick up <laughs> well, um, I um I'd had a when I was at university I had a lecture from a um, author called Neil Griffiths, who said that he he knew a child who would only read books about like construction vehicles, you know like JCBs and that kind of thing, um, and that's all he would read. But he was reading, so even if you don't necessarily. Um, I say approve, but necessarily like, you know, think it's a, a good thing for them to be reading, they're still reading. So, you know, give them that opportunity to read, you know, let them read, let them explore the things they enjoy. And it, you know, you never know what will branch out from that. Um, another thing that I thought I'd, I think I've got the order wrong almost. Oh, there's a reading slide. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, another thing I'd, I thought I'd take the meeting as an opportunity to remind you that, 1st of March is when you will find out where your child is going for secondary school. I can't believe I'm talking about this already. It hurts my heart um, a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, 1st of March is when you'll find out. If it was a paper application, you'll find out through post, I think. And if it was an online application, which I know most of you have done, you'll find out online. Um, if you need any support or any help with finding out, um, of, uh, if you want any support, finding where you might find this information please speak to myself or mrs davy we still have got a bit of time so don't panic right now but just i just want to remind you basically but we'll move on swiftly um yeah i mean i've we've spoken about that already so let's move on to topic this term our topic is called unspoken okay last term our topic was on hold tight riders and that was all about roller coasters and um everything to do with roller coasters now unspoken this is our mission list Okay, we have redesigned this topic um, and we've sort of gone about it straight from scratch. And this topic is all about forms of communication and um, whether it be, you know, sort of finding out we've done this last week. And I have to say, and I've said this loads of time to the children and to Mr. Hallam and to mm. Mrs. Fellows, the pieces of work that children came up with uh, last week were fantastic. Yeah, our motto brilliant. in year six is to have a go. And our motto in year six is to go for gold. So a lot of children went for uh, their gold D 
deep dive task, which is a greater depth task. And it's all about having a go. And it was fantastic. Um, this week, we've had a fantastic lesson today about the um, kind of sense of time we communicated through buildings. Excuse me. Um, and again, excellent discussion, excellent an analysis, excellent inference. It's just amazing what your six come out with with these missions. It's oh, goosebump worthy. Mm. Um, and, and we're really looking forward to. Um, you can see the next sort of two missions are, are all about a sense of time. So, can a sense of time be communicated through fashion? Can a sense of time be communicated through art? So, we're going to, um, I'm, I'm really, I'm, I, surprisingly, I know, uh, but by the way, I dress, but I'm a big fan of fashion. Um, <laughs> and I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing what they think about um, older fashion and how that compares to modern fashion and what will, what fashion will look like in the future. And the same with, the same with art as well, looking at, you know, all the way back to cave paintings, right the way through to, um, right through to Renaissance art, all the way up to modern day, you know, duct taping a, a banana to a wall type deal. Um, you can see on week five, um, <clears throat> which is last, last time we had um, a, um, I say a risky mission with our um, soldering. soldering, which, the children were absolutely brilliant with uh, you know i couldn't have been more proud of them as we did that um this 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 risky mission if you will is uh graffiti we're gonna teach them how to graffiti yay, yay. <laughs> <laughs> we, we are gonna make it very clear no, not on the not on the walls of your house please not on the walls of your house or anywhere that you know would be illegal or a crime or your parents would be really cross at you so we yeah. are gonna make that clear parents, that's don't the focus worry. of our mission yeah um and then we move on to a special mission, which is still a sort of under wraps, I should say. Um, this is a mission led by Miss Arundel, and that's when they look at photography. So they are photographers, and they they just learn the skills of how to be a photographer and how what pictures communicate. Mm. And well, then one of, I was about, I was just, I was just going to add on to that. So one of our books, Without Words, is all about photography mm. and and how photography can show you so many different worlds and so many different experiences um so we're really looking forward to that one um the seventh mission is how how important are words to the success of a company uh, and this is a special one from mrs fellows so that's why you, you know you might see that there's not much underneath it because you know we're still going through the process of mrs fellows of just talking about you know what's this actually properly fully going to look like but it's all about enterprise. So it's all about business. And, you know, we're going to be teaching the children the skills of um, marketing and advertising without using words. And then we've got science. Um, we're going to get Kenny involved in this because we learn about science and we learn about how light travels. And then we sort of use that to think about Morse code because Morse code is obviously a way of communicating. So that's an exciting mission. Um, and then the next one, we're going to think about dance. Um, so we're going to learn the hacker, which again is a form of communication, a particular emotion. Mm -hmm. Our last mission before our Mission Impossible links to our Mission Impossible. So this is where the children create a piece of music which communicates an emotion. And this ties nicely to our Mission Impossible, where the children will be, well, they can probably usually they pick a book mm -hmm. and they have to create a soundtrack for that book. Um, as the pictures, as someone is reading the book, for example. So um, this is our topic. It's all about communication. It's all about different aspects of communication. And we've linked it all to the curriculum. And we've made sure that it links to the foundation subjects that we are supposed to cover. Um, it's one of my favourite topics. Mm. And because it's a really, in, it's an interesting discussion based topic, which, which, which has a lots of really interesting learning opportunities. Um, so yeah, that's topic this term sorry i'm sound gone no, no you're right i'm just pushing buttons now i'm pressing the wrong button i think clearly you are yeah okay yeah, yeah. um <laughs> again we are still carrying on with enrichment with mrs rye enrichment i wish i talked enrichment because mrs rye you've had a workshop a couple of weeks ago um where our future derby came in and they did lots of exciting activities with them that was brilliant. i think yeah. we've even got a visitor in tomorrow if i'm not wrong um it, we have, it's, yeah it's either a visitor or a workshop yeah. tomorrow yeah um, so. so the children speak to lots of people who are either in in a particular career or they help train people to be in a particular career. And again, Mrs. Ryder does set weekly homework for enrichment, so please make sure 
that your children are completing this and they're bringing it in for Mrs. Rye the week after. Um, but yeah, just I a think, reminder that enrichment is still happening on. Sorry. I was going to say, I think, I think the main thing to take away from the enrichment is that it is training the children how, you know, what to think about their future and to think, you know, more about, you know, obviously, you know, we don't want to, we're not, we're not crushing dreams by saying, oh, well, you can't be an astronaut, but, you know, it's got to be, you, you've got to think about how would you become that? So, you know, that's the kind of, that's what's, um, it's been really nice to see that, to mm. see, you know, well, if you want to work for this company, what do you actually need to do? How do you do that? How do you get to become, or how do you become, you know, an employee for whatever Amazon. company is, Amazon, uh, Amazon was one of my head as well, because um, I had a big sort of workshop, uh, workshop experience with them. That's enrichment. Again, homework is the same. We've spoken a bit about homework. Um, mm -hmm. Homework handed out on a Friday and to be handed in the week and a half after on a Wednesday. Um, most of the children do a really fantastic job with this. We encourage the children to come and ask us for help if they don't understand. Um, but yeah, that's homework. Now, again, SATs are slightly... SATs at the moment, like I said, in autumn last year, um, in sort of when they've been in year six last year. Um, SATs are, at the moment they're happening, but obviously we don't know what COVID mm. brings because we've still got some schools who are still doing home learning. And I know that obviously some of our children are still having to isolate. Uh, yeah, so SATs at the moment are still happening. We do some form of sort of implicit SATs training um, threaded in throughout the week. Mm. Um, so it's not explicit as this is SATs practice. It's right, where would this be useful in your SATs test? Where would this be useful in a, in a form of assessment? Um, this is what the SATs papers look like. The results aren't being reported sort of publicly this year, but that doesn't really change anything for us, to be honest, because yeah. we, still, we still want the children to learn what they need to learn, not what they have to learn um, in terms of SATs-based. Um, yeah, and I think, I think the key thing is as well, we are... Uh, and, so, and some schools get this wrong sometimes that they teach to they teach for the SATs, mm. whereas we're teaching because we want to be able to teach children and teach children what they need to know for the year, yeah. rather than just you know the the tests that that, that are going to come later on. Yeah, just a little thing about SATs, and these are just general things that just to keep you in the loop about what happens during the week. Um, PE, I know that last time, last time, last term, it was on a Thursday. It's been changed to a Monday afternoon. It's really important the children come to school prepared. A lot of them do. Yeah. Um, let's just carry that on, please. Make sure PE kits are in school because we do tell the children next year in secondary school, it will, you know, you, they will get in trouble, to put it plainly, um, if they are not prepared. Swimming will continue um, to be on a Friday. Again, they need to be prepared with their swimming kits. We can't have missing hats. We can't have missing some trunks or towels. Yeah. It's just not acceptable. Um, and if you do want your child to be collected from the pool, um, I know that we have a couple of children, but if you would like this to start happening from now, you need to let Mrs. Davy know beforehand, please. I was going to say as well, um, please make sure you've signed up to my school app if you haven't already. Mm -hmm. um, you know, all of the news goes out on my school app. Homework goes out on my school app. Any updates, any you know, for whatever reason, closures or, you know, anything, 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 anything goes on my school app. So if you're not on my school app, make sure you're on it. Um, you know, the sooner you're on it, the better. And you can then, um, you know, really sort of get involved with um, things that are happening in school as well. Because sometimes, you know, we don't send out a letter for it. It will just go onto my school app. Um, any prescribed medication that you may require or your child may require, I don't necessarily need yours as parents, but any prescribed medication <laughs> that your child may require needs to be in school as well. So if you've got anything like an inhaler that needs to be in school, you know, make sure it's in school. Um, I think we've got every, all the sort of major, yeah, we have. all the major medications, but again, you know, things Just might change. Everyone. Yeah. And, <laughs> and I'm going to add on to that prescribed medication includes things like glasses. So, oh, yeah. so if, if you if you wear glasses but you don't bring them because they spoil your great looks, then bring them in. As somebody who wears glasses and has worn glasses since the age of four, mm. bring your glasses into school so you can see. Yay! <laughs> go on, Miss Ellen. Um, there we go. Yeah, I mean, I think we've spoken generally about what you can do to help your children. Um, 
encourage them to be them they i love this class they've got amazing personalities and we've we have a lot of banter yeah. and we have a lot of fun in this class they are s such a supportive bunch of children and then they are very conscious about their decisions and their and their peers decisions um take time to listen to what they've been learning to yeah. at school learning about at school as well because you know it's always it's always amazing my mum and dad my mum and dad when when i was at school would ask me what have i learned at school and they'd be blown away by some of the things that i've learned so you know it's always worth just having you know five ten minutes a day just oh what have you learned at school today well, what, what funny thing did mrs kuna say today for example? yeah or mr hallam because it's <laughs> funny um <clears throat> give them time to relax yeah i'll move swiftly on give them time to relax um you know give them time to just unwind be them be children you know you don't want them unfortunately they are getting towards that age now where they are you know stopping being t uh, children becoming not too much time and become, well obviously but <laughs> they're becoming teenagers and you know give them time to relax give them time to still be children not too much time. um Homework. but yes again this is um ask some questions so things like time remember what's the time how long have you got left until we've got your doctor's appointment how long how many minutes left till bed how many minutes till dinner for example if we start watching this two hour 17 minute film when now when is it going to finish yeah when's it going um, to finish so try and involve as much maths as you can in everyday life um reading right um have a, have a read of this newspaper tell me what's happening in scotland tell me what's happening in america mm. so that will encourage them to read and then they have to retrieve the information and sort of feedback to you even, even if it's something like the like bbc news website yeah um because i know that um, newspapers that just shows how old i was about, say, I was about to say that, that um, you showed your age a little bit there but no we've tried to sort of encapsulate um the most of you know this spring term it's i can't believe we're already on the second week um yeah, I can't believe we are already on the second week. Um, and we've got one week, and then we've got training week. And then I think it's two more weeks after that it is, until yeah. it's February half term. Um, so it's flying by already. Yes. Um, I will say here, we're going to um, stop the recording for the YouTube people. Um, so YouTubers, if you have any questions, you know, you know where to ask them. You can either come to us directly and ask us, or you can send us an email at our usual email addresses, which are on the homework videos, if mm -hmm. you're watching them um and then we'll stop recording and then we'll go back into the home screen if there's any questions anybody's got we can uh, we can take them from there